Updates for your Perspective Avionics can be divided into two groups, your primary navigation database and supplemental databases. To confirm the status of any database, go to the AUX page group, then System Status page. Here you can cycle between databases for either display by pressing the soft key aligned with PFD1 or MFD1DB, or database. You can update expired active databases directly or update your standby navigation database in advance and your avionics system will automatically transfer the standby database to active when the database becomes effective. Updating the primary navigation database begins with transferring the database from your computer onto a compatible SD card, essentially really any consumer SD card that has a memory capacity of 16 gigabytes or less. With the power off, insert the SD card loaded with the new NAV database into the top slot on the MFD. Power up the system and consider and acknowledge the prompts to get the appropriate active or standby database update started. With the update on the MFD complete and the display restarted, give the normal startup process time to complete, then head over to the system status page to monitor the sync progress. Once synchronization is complete, restart the system again, and while it's powered down, remove the SD card. Now with both displays updated, allow the system to power up and head back into the system status page to confirm that the update was successful. Supplemental databases, on the other hand, are stored on special TSO'd SD cards that are only removed from the displays for updating. With the power off, remove the supplemental database cards from the bottom slot of each display and, using your computer, update the databases stored on each card. Although not all of the databases are used by each display, for example, charts are only needed on the MFD card, it's often just as easy to transfer all of the supplemental databases onto both cards, letting those displays use the data that they really need. Plus, if ever you're troubleshooting a problem on the road, let's say, it might be handy to have two complete copies of your supplemental databases. Reinsert the cards and power on the avionics. Wait for the system to finish loading, and if applicable, for the system to finish syncing before turning off your avionics. Once you're all done, take an extra couple minutes to power up the avionics and confirm that all database updates and transfers were successful, because it's best to find any errors or missed databases now as opposed to when you're trying to get up in the air later.